What's going on folks? Devin Banks here back in the Bass Basement. On today's TTD, I'm going to give you the goods on Berkeley's new bladed jig, the Slobber Knocker. It's all coming up. Folks, thanks for tuning in. Before we get into the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you know every time I'm here in the bass basement giving you that fishing information to be successful on the water. I'm talking about a bladed jig. A bladed jig can be used pretty much three seasons out of the year. Spring, summer, and fall. And it's so effective and it's so erratic that it catches fish from one foot of water pretty much down any depth that you want to use it. It's a very versatile bait. It can be used down south, up north, east, and west coast across the nation. A bladed jig is going to catch you some fish. It's part spinner bait, part crankbait, and part jig. This is Berkeley's slobber knocker. A bladed jig like no other in a category of its own. And I'm going to break it down and tell you why. This jig right here, check out that hook. A 4 aught Fusion 19 hook. When the fish strike this bait, you're going to definitely get them in the boat. Super, super sharp. That is one big key component when it comes to a bladed jig. And this is a stout hook. This is a hook that you're going to get those five, six, seven pounders when they're spawning, they're going to come to the boat. They're going to give you a good fight, but you're just going to get them in the boat. Super sharp hook, Fusion 19, best hook on the market. And underneath this skirt, and we're going to talk about this skirt in a minute, underneath this skirt, you have a keeper that's going to keep your trailer attached to this bladed jig throughout the day. The slobber knocker has every component you need to make a 10 out of 10 bladed jig. This skirt right here is made of Berkley Power Bait. It's infused in a skirt. It's a silicone hand tie skirt, but it has Berkley Power Bait infused in it. So as this bladed jig is coming through the grass, coming over wood, coming over rock, coming through docks, as you skip it under a dock, it's going to leave that scent trail of Berkeley power bait that fish just can't resist. Not only is this bait erratic, bumping off objects, but with the power bait infused in the skirt, it's leaving that scent trail that fish are going to hump this bait down and strike it, attack it, hit it, and hold on where you're going to set that hook and get them in the boat. Super, super plus when it comes to this skirt and the Berkeley power bait that's infused in it no doubt about it now let's get to this head design this head design has a hard thumping rolling action and that's due to the fact that the blade is within the head right there so therefore as this blade is going side to side giving that hard thumping erratic action bumping out of cover coming through grass that head is wobbling back and forth and it's all in unison giving you this 100% thumping action that fish just can't resist. We know hands down that a bladed jig catches them. It's been catching them for 20 years plus. But this bladed jig right here, Berkeley's new slobber knocker, is a bladed jig like no other. And it has every component you need to be successful from this blade that's going to bounce off a of cover, deflect off cover, and this hook that's really going to get into them, jack them, so you can get that fish in the boat. This right here has to be the best bladed jig on the market. And I say that because no other bladed jig on the market has the power bait infused in the skirt. It just doesn't have it. And that's just a plus on so many levels. So let's get into some of the colors that I like to throw. Let's do a color breakdown 
of the slobber knocker and how I'll use them throughout the seasons spring summer and fall spring we know that it's early the fish are spawning and it's a couple baits that we already used in the spring and the color that we usually tend to go to is red those reddish hues to resemble those crawdads and get those fish really moving so whether if it's a lipless crankbait or a shallow running crankbait we like to use those reds and that's when I go to a fire crawl slobber knocker this right here is going to be a great color to use in the spring and when you want to add also a red trailer that fish usually don't see during that time of year they see those lifted crankbaits they see those shallow crankbaits but they don't see a vibrating jig a bladed jig or the slobber knocker in that color which is something different which may get you some more bites so definitely in the spring you want to go with a color such as this, the slobber knocker in fire crawl. As spring sort of transitions and in the summer, late spring, early summer, I always have a chartreuse and white bladed jig tied on. This right here is an awesome combination because it has a gold blade right there. So it has a gold blade, chartreuse and white, has that power bait infused in the skirt. So this is definitely a combination that I'm going to use in the late spring to summer when I'm focusing on wood, rocks, grass that's starting to grow up. Those shallow areas where fish are roaming the bank after they spawn. Chartreuse and white, you can't go wrong. As summertime approaches, I like to have my confidence bait of a green pumpkin tied on or a bluegill pattern in the skirt. This is going to resemble that bluegill, that forage that they're eating on to get that protein so they're getting big. And once again, I'm roaming those areas of wood, rock, and grass and just focusing on those areas to see if there are groups of fish and if they're chasing. And a green pumpkin bladed jig, the slobber knocker, you cannot go wrong with that. So that's one when they're focusing on bluegill and that's the forage, I definitely go with a bluegill slobber knocker. Still in the summer and the fish are on a shad bite. We got a shad spawn going on or the shad is the main forage. I'm going to go with a white slobber knocker. That's a color that you add a white trailer to it whether it's a crawl style trailer or a swim bait style trailer, you're definitely going to be able to get bit using that style of slobber knocker with the color white. Hands down, that's going to get you. When fall comes around, we have lower uh, water temperatures and the fish are feeding, gearing up for the winter. So they definitely want to feed up. So it's two colors I'm going to focus on. Either it's going to be that white with a white swim bait trailer on the back of it or it's going to be a green pumpkin that mimics that bluegill again. In addition, I'm going to have a green pumpkin swim bait trail on the back of it. I'm focused on forage. I'm covering a lot of water. And only thing I'm doing is I'm slowing down the speed of my slobber knocker. Instead of it on a high speed 7-3 to 1, I'm going with a 6-6 six, six to 1 just to slow it down to give those fish more opportunity to see the bait, to see the erratic action, and strike it. So those are the two colors and a little different setup that I go with in the fall. Well, there you have it, folks. That's my review of Berkeley's new slobber knocker. Is this the best bladed jig on the market? Let me know in the comments below. What bladed jig do you throw? And what's your favorite colors? And where do you like to throw a bladed jig? Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And you already know what I want you to do. Hit that bell.